I'm kind of like backtracking a little bit. My chest is tiny and it hasn't changed since I started lifting. But that's like a big compound lift, so it's kind of different than a side raise, isn't it? Are you sitting down doing the side raises? If she puts up with it, I'm very grateful. And I'm very grateful for you guys watching. Alrighty, today is chest day. I, as I say that, I realize I'm wearing a t-shirt and you cannot see it, but I just flex my chest. I'm still doing my warm-up sets. I'm gonna try to do some pause reps with 115. I think with my bench press, something I struggle with is putting my head down and kind of like putting the work in and then going for the heavy weights and like reaping the benefits. Instead, I just try to increase the weight every time, go for like a new PR or an impressive set every single time instead of just putting the work in and kind of like waiting a while and then trying to see the progress. So I think something I need to work on is just chilling, putting the work in, and then in like six weeks or something, kind of see how much stronger I've gotten. Is it warm up? Yeah, just a Oh, okay. Well, I thought you wanted a spot. I thought you were going for your first set. Little change of plans because 115 felt like shit. I know that's a shocker. I'm going to do 95 for probably a 5x5. Five five with pauses, um, if it feels like really easy, I'll go up, but I haven't done pause reps in a while, and I, I don't know, I just don't really know what weight I can do, so I'm gonna try to do this. Nice. Is that five? Yeah. Okay. So I feel like at the beginning of this bulk, my weights were going up and I was seeing progress, but now I kind of feel like I'm not. I know I injured myself, that definitely played a role, but I feel like the bench wasn't really affected by the injury. And I did hit 135, but besides that, like two days of bench where I was doing really well, I'm kind of like backtracking a little bit. Doing 95 for five pause reps is, I feel like used to be like very doable and like now I'm struggling. And I feel like if anything, I should be doing better because I'm further into the bulk. But I feel like I'm struggling to put on weight. Um, at the end of my cut, I think I was like 165. And I weighed myself this morning and I was like 167. So I might need to try to fix something in my diet. <laughs> so hard god damn all right i think this is my fifth set no this might be six six and last set pause reps we're in that other gym and i really don't fuck with it that much uh 
the environment is cooler, but like the intensity is just uh, abysmal here. But it doesn't matter. Still gonna get it. I feel like I should kind of follow up on what I said about the weight gain thing because I haven't been bulking for that long. So normally like a little over two pounds because I think I was actually like 167 point something, a little over two pounds in like the six weeks or eight weeks. I have no idea. However long I've been bulking would be an okay amount of weight, except at the end of my cut, I was probably depleted because I wasn't eating that much. So my muscles were empty. So if I'm only weighing like 167 point something, then I probably haven't actually put on weight. My muscles have just filled up pretty much. So that's kind of why I was saying, I think I need to adjust my diet. It hasn't been the most in tune. I think I mentioned a while ago, I've been eating like cake and chips and stuff, which you think would make me gain weight, but I don't know, I'm fucking weird. So more beef and rice, I guess. Come on. God damn. This is my last set finally. Uh, I'm currently listening to someone else. Uh, it's the Mala remix by Rez and Grabbits. What I, I might be butchering that, but that's, I'm sounding it out. That's what it looks like. Nice. <sighs> <sighs> this might work. No reaction. So according to the cameraman, my bench sucks because my chest is tiny and it hasn't changed since I started lifting. So yeah, he's making me do this. Three years ago, she has shown no visible difference in the chest, but in her arm, she has traps for sure, back for sure. But her chest has never changed because she's only changed strength. You can max out the potential of your muscle very easily when there is not that much muscle. So <laughs> It's pretty fucking mean, but okay. Do I do narrow or what? Well, same as you would bench first. Okay. There you go. Hold on. Okay. Dude, I can't go all the way down. That hurts my shoulder. Huh? I can't go all the way down to my chest. It hurts my shoulder. Uh, You're telling me. Take a little bit. You need to get that stretch. That's what's You don't go all the way down either, motherfucker. Yeah, I can't. Alright, last set of 225 on incline. Hopefully still light work, no reaction. Song is something angry. Oh nice. Shock tactics by To the Grave. That 
that lift off I'm doing is pointless. If anything, he's pushing my hands up. Kind of heavy, some reaction. This is my last set, thank God. I literally hate doing incline press. So we've been talking for like five minutes, a little bit of backstory about it. We're trying to talk about how to improve Ashley's bench. I don't think she's ever really trained hypertrophy. She's always been focused on strength. Um, and I think that it's catching up, whereas she has a lack of muscle to build strength off of where she's just maxed out her strength potential. And we're talking about doing side raises. There's like, you're, what you're saying with the side raises, like I only feel them like this if I do them extremely strict. Think about how many other lifts that that doesn't apply to for you and how that's gone like but like when i go heavy on bicep curls i can feel it in my biceps when i go really heavy and like cheat or whatever with side raises it's all in my traps because my traps are stronger so they take over yeah i have to like focus and go slow it's the only way i feel my side delts but there's like a balance with that of like i'm starting to do them strict but if i'm only getting four or five strict i can cheat five more and whereas your tra yeah your traps are stronger so they take over that just means you're pushing your delts for so far past failure that your traps need to take over. But then why not just do a weight that I could do like eight where it's fully my fucking, uh, sorry, where it's fully my shoulders being worked and then push it right past failure. And then right when I'm like only feeling my traps stop. But I mean, you've been doing that, right? I don't know. I feel like I was going heavier. And then recently I started going lighter again to isolate it better. So, I mean, if you're going heavier, and your lifts were going up and then you started going lighter and your lifts have been going down. Seems like a red herring for- No, no, like I stopped a couple of weeks, like, I don't know, like a month and a half ago or something. You might have to speak up, you're talking quiet. I stopped like, I stopped going heavier like a month and a half ago, I feel like. Maybe even more than that. I feel like I went heavy when we went And like a month ago, yeah. And I feel like you kind of lost that spark for intensity. So it's a lot easier to like come in and be like, well, this feels really good and do like some pump work getting into the groove where you're like, I'm going to fucking lift this weight no matter what. But with something that I really struggle to feel, I don't, I don't feel like going so heavy that I, all I feel is my traps is a good yeah. idea. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's a balance to it. Part of it is like with RDLs, I don't directly feel those all the time in my ass. And I definitely don't feel them all the time in my hamstrings. Cause sometimes I'm going so fucking heavy mm -hmm. that I just don't feel them anywhere. But my hamstrings and glutes have blown up and Bent over rows are like a perfect example where you feel it in your back, but it's kind of such a compound that you don't feel a huge isolation in your back if you're going heavy, but you just develop like a gorilla fucking back doing them mm -hmm. because they're so good for your back because you're stressing that muscle with that much weight. If you only did bent over rows with like 130, I mean, for me, 135, where I really felt the squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, you know, I could probably build some muscle, but. But that's like a big compound lift, so it's kind of different than a side raise, isn't it? Are you sitting down doing the side raises? Are you sitting at a machine where it has a predetermined path where it takes all the other muscles out of it? No. Or you're standing up, which is engaging your core. You're holding them at your side, which is engaging the stabilizers in your lats to hold them there. It is a compound if you treat it as such. It can be as isolated or as compound as you'd like it. And I think to benefit you with strength and building muscle in something you've trained for so long, training it a little bit harder, allowing yourself to let the form slip a little bit and kind of cheat a few reps in there and take it intense, go heavier than you normally do, is gonna benefit you more than just doing these like fucking Jeff Nipper, Jeff Nipper perfect reps. I'm not trying to get on you about it. I'm really not. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I just disagree like that. I don't know what okay. to say. I don't agree with you. I mean, but do you disagree and you're not going to do it? Or do you disagree, but you're willing to try it? I guess I'll try it. Let's uh, overhead press superset with side raises. This is going to get hit.
All right, I got 185 on the bar for overhead. Usually, I've done a dedicated shoulder day and I can hit this for about eight. I've done nine sets of pressing movements with a barbell today. I'm gonna be thankful for five, so. I don't know if you got that on the camera, but my, like the six reps of that, I did like a cute little ooh woo with my fucking knees. So obviously there's a difference between. Are you talking to me? And the camera. You gotta talk louder if you're talking to me. I know you're holding down getting amped for a set and then being like annoying during a set. I would, I think the best gyms have people getting amped before they do their set, no matter what weights on the bar. So if you guys could drop a, Ashley, get intense in the comments. Doesn't matter that what weights on the bar. That'd be great. Now it's not intensity. Doesn't mean like pushing the fight for like if you have like tens and you're curling tens. Be like, bah! you're not fucking screaming. But like before you lift, if you're like, you know, that's sick. Doesn't matter what weights on the bar. Sounds like someone is talking who's never had to do a lift with five pound plates on a bar. I'll find a picture when I was a little guy. I've definitely done lifts with five pounds in the bar. Maybe bicep curls. I need new songs to listen to. I'm just fucking scrolling, looking for something. There's no other lift that makes me feel like my uh, lower intestine is gonna fall into my ball sack like overhead press, but it's good. All right. Again, I'd be stoked for five. Taking it back to some real like bro, bro lifts, cable front raise. It's a staple back in the day when I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, but I'm sure it had some net benefit to something. A whole other rant I could go on. People just doing like fucking dumb shit because someone else did it or like taking the easy way out. I'm, I'm talking about like people just doing things because it's like, well fucking, I saw someone so do it and now I have good activation. And it's like, yeah, that'll, that'll take you places. But if you don't implement that with a little bit of like bro science and fucking pushing hard, it doesn't do anything. And this was like a classic bro, probably useless lift, but we'll see. I should probably adjust the weight. I do a whopping 40 pounds on these. Nope, actually I lied, I do 30. That's wonderful. Uh, song choice, shit. Song choice is The Downfall of Us All by Day to Remember. It's old, but sometimes it's good. I'm kind of struggling to find good music today, so I'm just hitting shuffle and going through all my songs. Which I do most of the time, actually. Okay, Ooh. Jesus, I can barely fit in this thing. Not in a good way either. Um, for the end of the workout, we're just gonna do two sets of side raises on this and then two sets of machine flies, but one, the camera is probably gonna die, so we're not gonna record all of it. Um, and two, there's like a class going on in here and it's loud as fuck. Yeah, that's, that's all I'll say, it's fine. People are getting a good workout in, but, and it's just gonna be hard to record and hard to hear anything, so. I will see you at the end when we pose and everything. Oh, that's a little light. So I talk a lot of shit about training and I hope it like, I love this shit, man. It's my favorite. I've done it forever. Um, I mean, seriously, we've been doing it for about three years, probably been lifting off and on since high school, since football. 
So, yeah, like, I talk a lot of shit on what's right and wrong, but it's never, like, right and wrong. It's all opinion-based. Like, it's all totally my opinion-based. And, like, I feel like my opinion is shared with, like, a lot of people who train seriously is going hard as fuck is fun. Like, going to, like, failure and just hulking heavy-ass weight has its place for strength, for muscle building, all that shit. But you need to oscillate it with, like, light pump work. It's when you do only one of them that I feel like people plateau a lot and they get frustrated and they're like, oh, well, I'm going hard as fuck. Or it's like, oh, like I'm failing when I really feel it. And it's like training is so nuanced, dude. Like people like people will talk to me about it at work and I catch myself just like they have like one question and I talk about it for like 10 minutes because there's so many variables that go into it. Like it's just impossible to get into And I'm sure as these videos go on, I'm going to keep talking about it. But it's just like everybody needs to find their own they need to put it together for themselves and find what works for them. And people will do something for two weeks and be like, well, it's not working. It's like, dude, you need to wait like two months to see returns on something a month minimum. And that's what I try and tell Ashley a lot is like, you know, try and change this, you know, maybe try this, try this. And when she just doesn't like, she'll be like, no, that doesn't feel right. Then I'll be like, okay. But then like, I notice, like, you know, with bench, maybe she's like a little bit unstable. So I'm like, no, you know what? Do that again. And it comes across to her like I'm going back and like contradicting myself and it's like it's so nuanced. So if I ever do contradict myself in a video, it's my bad. I'm not trying to like step on my own toes. It's just some things that are applicable for some people aren't for other people. And some things that are applicable for me and that I think are applicable of me, applicable for me, uh, change as like I keep training. And, you know, it's like that whole like Dunning Kruger thing, like the less you know about training, the more you think you know. Uh I mean I I know like to an extent proof is in the pudding. Uh, I lift big. I kind of look like shit, but I do have muscle underneath all this chub. But at the same time, I feel like I don't know enough about training because I have learned a little bit about training and it's kind of contradictory in itself. But you know, training's just sick, dude. I fucking love it. Shoulder raises. For example, this tempo, it's like the one second contraction, three second, one second contraction, three second eccentric is like optimum for a fucking hypertrophy. But there's dudes that never do that and they get fucking massive. It just depends. Imp, like, use it sometimes. Don't fucking treat it like a law. While well, Ashley's posing, I was gonna. I'll just go over here. I was gonna talk about that uh that like new Creed song. Or not the new the old Creed song is like trending right now. Bro, you know how stoked that makes me? There was like a year of my life where all I did was just get blacked out drunk in Pensacola Beach and listen to Creed three doors down and that uh was it Everlast what it's like? Just sitting on the beach, letting the tide take us out and hopefully not drown. I fucking legit have really enjoyed Creed. First, ironically, but like now for real. I listened to One Last Breath. I know it's trending right now, not because it's trending. It just kind of reminded me of the song. Uh, I listened to that song like almost this entire workout, except for when I was doing like a couple like intense sets. But honestly, I might deadlift to that. Just. Fuck, dude, it hits so goddamn hard. It's a sick song. But, yeah. Ashley's looking pretty sick. Ooh, hit the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Extend that... Just extend your left arm out a little bit to give your back more width. Yeah. All right, do that again. Turn your butt a little more. Flex your back. There you go. Nice. You look sick. Okay. I'm gonna do your sign off. You just put so much pressure on me. That was not focused on what I'm gonna say. Uh, you say something for once. Well, I think.
appreciate you guys watching and uh, listening. Um, yeah, I talk a lot of bullshit when we lift. And you guys don't even hear the half of it that I say to Ashley. It's a lot more. And she puts up with it. I'm very grateful. And I'm very grateful for you guys watching and listening and liking and commenting. Even if you disagree with me, I'd fucking love to hear it in the comments. It's a uh, training's always like an open ended discussion. So, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to smash that like button. This is going to be the start of actually doing things she doesn't want to to improve her bench. So you guys can try to hold me accountable because I always like to do what's fun and what's going to put me in a good mood. But then it doesn't end up paying off because then I get pissed off that I can't lift any weight. So I'm going to start doing things like the overhead press or the heavy friggin' side raises like he said. Try it out. Try to do some different things to improve my bench press. But yeah, like he said, uh, I'm just going to say make sure to like and subscribe comment down below uh let me know some good meal ideas to try to increase the number on the scale and maybe some good song ideas too because i'm struggling with that but yeah thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time